the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences has decided to award the 2015 Nobel Prize in Physics to Takaaki Kajita and Arthur B. MacDonald for the discovery of neutrino oscillations, which shows that neutrinos have mass. These elementary particles are the second most abundant in the universe, next to the photons, which are the particles of light. They are created in nuclear reactions, for example, in, in the sun, in stars, or in nuclear power points. They interact very little with the environment. For example, they can go through Earth without being stopped. There are three kinds of neutrinos. Electron neutrinos, muon neutrinos, and tau neutrinos. This year's prize is awarded to the experiment discovery that neutrinos can change identity. The discovery implies that neutrinos, which were believed to be massless, do have a mass, even if very little. And since there are so many of them, it changes our view of the universe. Every second, billions of neutrinos pass through our bodies, unfelt and unseen. Neutrinos are nature's most elusive particles. They hardly ever interact. The discovery that neutrinos has, have mass has profound consequences. Not only for particle physics, pointing at physics beyond the standard model, but also for astrophysics and for cosmology. The discovery of neutrino oscillations has opened a new, exciting and challenging field of physics. And all over the world, scientists are picking up this challenge to unveil the true nature of the neutrino. There certainly was a eureka moment in this experiment when uh, we were able to see uh, that uh, neutrinos appeared to change from uh, one type to the other in traveling from the sun to the earth. Our statistical accuracy became greater and uh, we were able to be certain that this was uh, able to be proven uh, with uh, great accuracy. So yes, there was that eureka moment.